Hi friends, I am Dr. Thomas Joseph, Consular Physician and Diabetologist, Karma Medical Center Pala. Today I am going to speak about what are the types of diabetes mellitus. Most common is type 2 diabetes mellitus, as you all know. Almost 90% of the people are affected and 90% of the cases are of type 2 diabetes mellitus. The first one is type 1 diabetes, usually common and seen in children. It is an opium autoimmune disease. The only treatment is insulin. <coughs> Before the invention of insulin, these children are not getting any treatment and they are dying. Now, after the uh, introduction of insulin by binding and best from 1902, that is human decombinant DNA technology insulin is there. By, after, by giving this, these children are life saved. Type 2 diabetes mellitus is usually seen in obese individuals. They are insulin resistant uh, persons. They are, uh, <coughs> most of the persons are overweight. So the treatment is generally different. They need only oral hypoglycemic drugs. The more main drug is tablet metformin. Metformin dosing is different. Usually starts with 500 mg uh, morning and evening dose. If not controlled by that dose, we will increase the dose to 1 gram morning and evening. Maximum dose per day dose is 2 gram. Metformin has got only minimal side effects. Most of the some patients may complain of gastric intolerance. So in that patients, we can switch over to other group of drugs, mainly supplement virus, that is clomipride, clictins, that uh, is SGL2 inhibitors like that. So in the main uh, <coughs> Focus of treatment in type 2 diabetes is to control sugar and also to decrease the body weight. For, for that purpose, these two goals are achieved with by giving metformin, tablet metformin. Only contraindication is renal <coughs> if patient's glomerular filtration rate, that is uh, per minute urine output is decreased below 60 ml per minute, we will decrease the dose. And if it is uh, uh, glomerular filtration rate, estimated global EGFR is below 30 ml, we will stop the metformin. We will uh, switch on to glimipirate or other drug SEL2 inhibitors. So type 2 is the most common, it is the mostly common middle age, that is about 20 year age group. Mostly in 35, 40, 50 year of age group, we are, we are, we are seeing this type 2 diabetes mellitus. The type 1 diabetes usually seen below age 20 in children. The third one is type 3 diabetes, that is <coughs> pancreatic diabetes. It is usually caused by stones or due to chronic infection, that is chronic pancreatitis, <coughs> that is causing damage to beta cells of pancreas. So they are deprived of insulin. Insulin is not secreted. Insulin is usually secreted by beta cells of pancreas. These insulin are not secreted by uh, pancreas, so <coughs> uh, they are getting diabetes in type 3 diabetes. Man. Only treatment you can give is uh, insulin. So uh, most of the patients can be controlled by oral hypoglycemic drugs. The fourth one is gestational diabetes. That is, they are diabetes seen in pregnant patients. Uh, before they are getting pregnant, they are not having diabetes. By 24 to 28 weeks, if you are taking glucose test, they are uh, they are fasting. If their fasting blood glucose is more than 95 or 2 hour PPBS is more than 120 or 1 hour postprandial blood sugar is more than 140 they will come into the class gestational diabetes. The main <coughs> uh, focus of gestational diabetes is these diabetes will stop or uh, we, uh, there is no need for taking any drug after postpartum period that is one to one and a half hours post delivery. The, uh, the other one is that is more monogenic diabetes, that is maturity onset diabetes of the young. This is an autoimmune disease seen in elderly people, that is mostly middle-aged people. The type 1 is also autoimmune seen in children and the monogenic diabetes modi that is <coughs> That is seen in elderly people. The treatment is mostly sulfonylureas, that is insulin secretory cause. Example is glimipirate, glipizide, glycoside. These type of drugs are usually given. And the last one is <coughs> usually seen in drug induced diabetes. Drug induced diabetes, if, you are, uh, if a patient is getting steroid for a long time, they will develop diabetes. So, uh, this uh, uh, blood sugar can be controlled by giving either oral hypoglycemia or insulin. This, uh, uh, this drug induced diabetes can be reversed or rem remission can be obtained after stopping these steroids. These are the main types of diabetes, that is type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes that is the most common, then type 3 diabetes that is pancreatic diabetes, then type 4 that is the gestational diabetes, and fifth one is uh, modi monogenic diabetes, and the sixth one that is <coughs> uh, uh, drug-induced diabetes. If you have any queries or any doubts, 
please uh, comment or you ask your questions in the chat box i'm happy to answer to that uh, questions thank you